Drink up, Evans. It was a hard night. You deserve it. Yes, sir. A very hard night. I always said if I had an Indian post, I'd know how to handle him. The minute there's an incident, you hit right at him and hit hard. Yes, sir. Excuse me, sir. to go. Ironic, isn't it? You can't stay here. Where else? That's your problem. My problem is the responsibility of the lives of every person on this train. Do you have any idea what the Comanches would do to us if they found you here? Colonel Buckner, please, sir, let me explain this. Now, this is between McCull and me. He's not going to turn us out. I have no other choice, sir. I'm a white man and I'm in trouble. We're all in trouble, thanks to you. Do you know that a hundred men lost their lives tonight? Standing between the Indians and this train? Thanks to you. All right. I made a mistake, I admit it, and I'm sorry for it. I'm sorry, Colonel. It's too late to be sorry. My officer was dead. He was killed right outside that Comanche village. How was I to know that they didn't do it? You're in command. It's your job to know. I had a hundred men in my garrison. A hundred men to maintain law and order. A hundred against thousands. I had to teach those Indians a lesson. You haven't taught them very well. They're burning the countryside to the ground, searching for you. They're savages. They had to be shown what would happen if they resisted. Colonel, for 20 years, the Indians and the white people in this part of the country have been looking for some kind of understanding. And you've wiped it out in one single night. Now, do you really expect me to risk the lives of the people on this train to save yours? Lieutenant Bevins, let's not take up any more of the general. I didn't know he was wounded. He's lost a lot of blood. You know how to take out a bullet? Yes, sir. Flint! Well, you better take it out. Jim just rode in and said there's a large band of Indians coming our way. Well, I understand the situation. If you just help me get the colonel on his horse, I'll try to find someplace else. It's too late for that, Lieutenant. Charlie, get your kit. Help the Lieutenant take care of the Colonel's wound. Yes, sir. Lieutenant, it's a nasty wound. Let's get his coat off. Yeah. He's comfortable here. He's still unconscious. Are you going to turn us over to them? What would you do, Lieutenant? I'm glad I don't have to make that decision. If you go outside, change your clothes. I don't want them to spot the uniform. Well, they know we're here. You know that. We haven't got a prayer. If you know any prayers, you might say them. We can use all the help we can get. My first post. I couldn't wait to get out here. See the West. Now it doesn't look like I'm going to have any time to see it. When did you come out? Two weeks ago. Two weeks, huh? I never even saw an Indian until two weeks ago. It's too soon to give up hope, Lieutenant. They haven't attacked yet. I've heard tales about the Comanches skinning men alive. Don't believe everything you hear. It's easier. Mm. 